What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you a pen of mine that I've had for a while, but for whatever reason, I just realized that there is not a single video on YouTube about it, which kind of kills me because I really love this pen. First of all, it's a Mont Blanc. Um, I think some people call it a Mont Blanc. Um, if you pronounce it a different way, just go ahead and let me know if I cared. But uh, you know that I like the Star Walker, and uh, I've had one, and it's a great pen. It's a fine liner, and this fine liner was available, and I may not have all the details right because it's not been recently. About eight years ago, I want to say in 2009, Emirates Airlines, uh, in partnership with Mont Blanc, uh, made a fine liner, a Star Walker version that you see here, commemorating the Airbus A380, and that's why we have all of these little porthole windows along the side here uh, because the pen is supposed to look and kind of represent the A380s because the double decker jumbo jet um, you know it's the only one that has like a, a full length second level like the 747 8s don't you know they have a hump I have a hump and uh, so we have kind of all these windows like this. Now this was a special edition, it wasn't a limited edition, I think anyone could buy it. In fact, um, on Emirates Airlines, I think you could not only buy it for $1,000 uh, is what they would offer you, but um, at some point they uh, put everyone that bought one into a raffle for the limited edition. So there was a limited edition pen that looked very similar to this, but I believe it was white gold with diamonds. Uh, you know, it was just kind of a off the hook type of uh, pen and I think it was nineteen or twenty thousand dollars retail. So, and I want to say there was three hundred and eighty of them in honor of the Airbus three hundred and eighty. So, not a lot of those. I wish I had one. If you have one and you would like me to check it out for a few years, I'd be more than happy to do that. But this one was the one that kind of everyone could get their hands on. I think you can still get them. Uh, you know, the price is a little lower now than it was back then at the $1,000 mark. I think you can get these for $800. I, if I can find a place where you can pick it up, I will put a link to it in the description. But they're out there. And the cool thing is they are really nice pens. So a couple things that I wanted to show you here is that... Um, on this original pen, obviously it's very much like the Star Walkers, uh, but there's a couple of differences. So um, unlike my other uh, Star Walker, instead of kind of that ruthenium plating, which tends to look like a gunmetal, kind of looks like a black chrome on everything, this one I believe is platinum plated. So you get this really high, glossy, bright shine, you know, chrome-like shine. And uh, even in the windows here, which you can see are slightly recessed, I'm not sure if they... Um, cut them in or stamp them in or mold them in or how they do that but you know there's they it provides additional texture and they're really bright and shiny and and they look great and you know the clip up here looks great and then the collars and everything like that you know on this bright uh platinum plating and then inside you know again just you know, the nice thing about these pens are they're just so smooth so well crafted um the the collar down here and then the the point and the um and the cone and everything again i think platinum plated now this is also where it's a little different than the the, the general star walker and then this uh, cylindrical collar right here on my other star walker has some knurling has a little kind of checkerboard texture and so you get a little a, good, a pretty good grip on it now i've never had a problem holding this pen and it feels really nice but it does feel a little slick i mean people have kind of mentioned that that you know if um, there was a little knurling up here, probably feel and grip a little bit better, but it doesn't and it feels fine, you know. There is a little bit of like a sandblasted texture right here, so if you hold it down a little lower, maybe you can get uh, a little better grip. And then the point here is a fine liner, which to me, I don't know if you've ever used one of those old school felt tip pens, that's what it kind of feels like, but obviously a really really small fine tip there and it writes very nicely you know it, it, it it's very comfortable to write with for example let me just write here peter von panda look at that i mean it just writes um really really nicely it's it's pretty thin and you know it's it's comfortable to write long periods of time on now a couple issues with the fine liner that for me, I don't like, you know, first of all, I'm usually filling out forms if I'm writing, trying to take notes, and so I usually like a really, really fine tip. And so what I typically do on my Star Walkers is replace them, and you can replace them with the, with a rollerball refill, which has, 
you can get it in a much finer tip obviously in black and so I want to just show you that they are compatible so the barrel here comes off you can see here you've got your fine liner refill which also screws in so just kind of everything connects with everything else it's really nice nothing falls out of the the end here and then you could take this roller ball refill here and put it in screw it in here this is a medium and it's a blue which may or may not be to your taste and then assemble everything back together here and now I could write Peter Von Panda and you can see there you know they look pretty similar this one's the obviously a medium point like I said and a different color and those are pretty similar so the fine liner um, if, you know cartridge that it comes with will write very similarly you know to a medium or a large roller ball but usually I go with the fine I believe there's also an extra fine which I, I really don't mind the the, the, the finer the, the tip but it's just one of those things it's it's up to you and you know it kind of allows you some ability to kind of modify the pen to your personal liking now the great thing about the roller ball to fine liner to potentially ballpoint refill is that these pens are very oh usable on a day-to-day -day basis you know my issue with the fountain pens is that they're kind of a pain in the ass i mean they look awesome but they're kind of a pain in the ass to kind of keep them you know looking nice they're they can if if something goes wrong with them they can leak and be messy not that a rollerball can either but it's just one of those things where i don't use a a fountain pen on a daily basis um i have some fountain pens but they're kind of in a box on my desk that for special occasions now the other thing that's really cool and again in the devil's in the details is that the threading is lined up and so when you tighten this pen cap down you don't want to over tighten it that the windows line up on both sides obviously and it's just one of those small details you won't notice it on the other star walkers because they're just kind of that uh, fine resin you know case and so you can't tell where they're lined up but the cool thing is here the windows line up when the when the clip is tightened down um, a couple of things here that I also wanted to show you is kind of compare oh well before I do that is that uh, you know they have this kind of clear acrylic cap here with the floating Mont Blanc logo in it that's pretty cool and then Mont Blanc around the side here and then the pretty sturdy little clip so just a cool cool pen I don't know if you've seen them but oh I got ink on me um, but uh, I wanted to show it to you because I have not seen a YouTube video like it yet so hopefully that helps you the other the last thing I will point out which is really different is you can see this blue um, on the the barrel of the uh, pen here and this is very it's like a soft touch rubberized and it feels a little thick and you know it's gonna be hard to explain here you know it's not overly grippy like a neoprene or anything like that it's got a little bit of a smooth surface it's kind of like a dolphin skin or you know um, some of the some of the hard but soft touch rubber on pan handles you know like uh, cook cookware um, so it, it feels nice but it feels grippier than like you know the the glossy slick resin and it also doesn't quite show fingerprints and and finger smudges as much either so that's kind of nice but I just love the blue and the silver contrast here I mean it's just such a classy look and just so unique I think from these pens that tend to be a little staid and stoic and I don't know formal looking so this one just had a little bit of flash but didn't go overboard and try to be I don't know you know like some of the limited edition pens with the engraved dragons all over them or gears or you know steampunk look so really really cool I like it now the last thing I want to show you here is this is obviously a genuine Mont Blanc this is a fake Mont Blanc I've showed you uh, I compared my original black one to um, some of the some of the the pens that are supposed to look like Mont Blancs, but they don't actually say it. Now, what I wanted to show you on this one is that I picked this one up because it actually says Mont Blanc on it. So this one is really actually trying to pass itself off. And as you can see there, we also have the floating logo. So a couple of things that I noticed here. This is not a definitive um, commentary on what is or is not legit. But um, I thought I would just show you, you know, kind of between these two, but then also point out some of the things that I've noticed. So first of all, 
on this one, you can see here, obviously, it tries to mimic the name that's engraved on the top barrel. Now, on here, what you'll have is you can probably just barely see it there, but on this side of the clip right there is where the serial number is engraved, and it's kind of engraved in um, kind of a futuristic block-style laser etching. This one puts a number here, like a serial number, on the clip itself. As far as I've always seen the on, on the Star Walkers here, the serial number is always on the collar, not on the clip. So that's one telltale sign. The other thing, and, and it's going to be a little hard to tell without having two of them side by side, but I've noticed that the floating Mont Blanc Star logo on the fakes, you can see here, I've got them just about even, um, is too small. You know, and that's going to be hard to tell without a real one next to it, but I've seen this pretty consistently where that is a little too small and so that's kind of another telltale sign you can also see maybe just a little bit of difference here although they're pretty close the collar on the real one is a little a little shorter uh, but the acrylic dome might be just a hair longer and you can see also here that the real Mont Blancs that star logo because it's larger also has more curve to it and so you can see it, it's a little more pronounced, it's a little wider in there, but then because it's, it's actually three-dimensional and curved, kind of domed out, um, you know, it kind of drops down a little further. All right, so the other thing here on, in particular on this one, because it's supposed to be just the Star Walker, is that you can see here all the plating is very silverish. If it were ruthenium, it'd be more like this gunmetal color, and so everything would be more of that gunmetal color. Down here, they've kind of done that gunmetal color, and they have the knurling, which is pretty close, but uh, you know, on the real one, this is also that, that gray gunmetal color. So the fact that we've got you know, kind of a bright silver um, you know, worked in here in various places, that's kind of a telltale sign to me. Now, the other thing is the devil and the details. You can see everywhere that there is metal. It's going to be a little hard to see here, but I wanted to show you that this clip, you know, everything's flat and polished. There's my fingerprints are on it. You know, it's just a really, you know, everything is, is high quality. On this clip right here, you can see a little bit of wave and distortion where like the sheet metal is kind of pressed into place, but it's not really hand lapped or anything like that to really smooth it out. You know, you can see a little bit of waviness there. Um, you know, it's just kind of, you know, a trademark of a lower quality mass produced uh, piece. Now on the last thing I will show you here is it's going to be a little hard to see and always is under the clip here. There's no uh, etching or embossing or anything that says Mont Blanc or Pix or made in Germany or Germany. Those are all uh, stamped in there sometimes. And, you know, on this one, it just says Germany metal and then picks over here, but I have seen legitimate Mont Blancs that say made in Germany, Mont Blanc, just picks. You know, there's a variety of them. It depends on when the, the pen was made, which is not always easy because some of these pens are in production for a very, very long period of time. And so the, the clips can be um, different even on very similar models. So, you know, these are just things that I found here that uh, on, on these types of pens that, you know, they can... That's how they that's how they run. And in fact, a lot of times they actually have a legitimate uh, refill because <laughs> it's not really worthwhile to manufacture refills. And the other thing is, I think the Monte Verde refills fit Mont Blancs. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it can't happen. But anyway, I picked this up just to see you know how close it was. And I'll be honest, at at a glance, you wouldn't even think that this is fake, but it is. It's <laughs> it, the telltale sign is that it's fifteen dollars. So I just kind of wanted to bring it up. Be careful what you're buying out there, um, especially if you're buying on eBay or used. I don't know uh, if people are really trying to push these off on kind of the more reputable sites, but you can certainly pick these up from overseas dealers without a problem. So if you want to spend some money and get a really nice pen, the other thing is here, man, you can feel the weight difference. I mean, you know, this is resin. This is not. I get it. You know, there's this uh, soft touch covering on it but man this this pen feels weighty i just love it i love writing with it i love the fact that i can change the the cartridges and kind of make it my own and uh switch from a fine liner to a roller ball if i want to but beautiful beautiful pen like i said you can still pick them up um at a discount for what they were they're paying for and so if you're looking for a nice pen that's a little bit different that's a little unique that you don't have to worry about running into the same pen a lot especially if you work in kind of an office environment where people care about these things 
uh, you know, check this out. I really like it. It's the special edition A380 pen from Montblanc. Peter Von Panda out.